Yeah, hey. we really are back, you guys. <laughs> hey, it's been a while. Yes. And before that, it had been a while. Yeah. Voice of Reason was sick for a bit. She had no voice. Yeah. She was just Ironic, reason. Isn't it? Yeah, she was just reason for a while. <laughs> and then the second we started celebrating being back, uh, I started going through my own little personal hell. Right. Guys, if you've ever had like every little thing underneath you ripped out, every bit of solidity gone, you know exactly what I'm going through right now. So my problems are, yeah. are not over, but fuck it. There's a new Cobra Kai. If anything could get us back to troll for like five minutes, it's the Cobra Kai trailer. Yeah, well, I miss you guys. I, I really enjoy the banter. I enjoy all the back and forth. We've, we've yeah. got like good friends in the comments. So there, there's that. And then at the same time, now on top of it, we have. <laughs> well, I'll tell you though, before this trailer came out, they released that photo of Mike Barnes. Yeah. It looks ridiculous to me. It does. It's weird. Yeah, his head looks huge. He looks like a Charlie Brown character. Yeah. Uh. You know, yeah. Uh, I forget who in the comments, guys. Forgive me, but someone pointed out, "Hey, you gotta, you gotta talk about this." There's a new photo of Mike Barnes, and I went and checked it out, and I just started laughing. I thought Mike mm. Barnes looks ridiculous. His head looks huge. Yeah, he doesn't look scary. He just looks dumb. It it's a very odd photo. Yeah, I don't know why they released it, and yeah. it says Barnes is back. So let me get this straight. When uh, when you showed us um, Terry Silver, we got this really elaborate marketing campaign remember that yeah where like it was his old voice and then his new voice and yeah him walking you see the ponytail and everything the silhouette mm -hmm. they did a whole thing before that when they showed us crease they did a really big cliffhanger at the end of season one so yeah this is what mike barnes gets he gets a really bad looking photo if, of himself if with, he's coming back at all he he's looks not in the trailer well he's got to come back i mean they they Come on. Well, he doesn't gotta. Yeah, by now he's coming back for sure. I wanna. It's just. I want him to, but I mean, I, oh. I'm. I'm hearing he might have very minimal scenes. Really? That he's hardly involved. That's why he's not really in the trailer. Oh, Sean Keenan, where are you? Yeah, this is weird. I mean, he was saying way back in the day. Remember the video I know. where he goes, I'm doing season two, and he's yeah. doing his autographs. And then season two came and went, and you and I were like, well. You can't tease the me this long, Sean Keenan. Yeah, no season two, no just season saying. three, no season four. And it doesn't look like much season five. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't either. This I guess guy... we'll find out on September 9th. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, so so lots of stuff. Let's talk about this trailer. Yes. Uh, Daniel with a black eye. I know what happened. Particularly interesting. Yeah. The black eye on Daniel. I really want to know what the fuck led to that. That's Who does he... I don't think he fights Johnny again. I think this is the one season we don't yeah. have that happening. Yeah, it's got it. I'll bet it's from Silver. You think you think straight up they just got into it? Yeah, I do. Then aren't we in the same situation where you have to, where the show can't give us a definitive winner or they'll break the show? Mm. Like, can the show just flat out say Silver is, well, why not? Silver beat yeah. Johnny, kind of. Yeah. So I guess he can beat Daniel. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. King if you Snake. haven't seen the trailer, go go watch it. Um it's it's really good i'm i'm a little disappointed that we didn't see any mike barnes in it i kept waiting for that but i didn't really realize that he we didn't see him until the very end of the trailer because i was so enthralled with everything that we were seeing and then we got to the end i'm like hey wait a minute but um yeah some interesting things in this trailer well there's a scene right here where he seems to be doing something at like i don't know i'm gonna call it like a women's convention because it seemed to be a lot of women here Amanda's mm -hmm. here. I think this chick from the tournament, I think, is right here. Uh -huh. And uh, and he seems to be, like, really uh, women winning over the ladies. You know, like, they think he's awesome. Yeah. What a dick. Now, how about when Sam says to Johnny, when jo or uh, not Johnny, I'm sorry, when Daniel says, I'm shutting down Cobra Ka or uh, uh, yeah. Miyagi Do. Yeah. And she says, this can't be your plan. Yes. I think there's some deceptive editing there. I think he says, I'm shutting down Miyagi-Do. Uh -huh. And then he goes on to explain, and now we're going to call it something else, and Chosen's going to be kicking ass. And I think that's when yeah. Sam says, this can't be your plan. Right. I, I really think that's what's going on here, but we'll see yeah. if I'm right about well, this. Well, to see him uh, drape over the Miyagi-Do sign, I was, so, oh, I was so confused and disheartened in this trailer because I thought, oh, no. Wait, they left us with the clear impression um, at the end of the last season that there was no way he was going to honor a deal with someone who had no honor and that we would still be looking at Miyagi-Do come season five. But yeah, I think you're right. I think he's probably going to team up with Chosen and, and like rebrand or rename it even just temporarily to so-called honor the deal or something. 
but um it's a pretty brilliant move really it's gonna piss silver off think, yeah. how, think what an ass daniel's being he specifically said that he'd be done teaching and shut down miyagi Do, and uh -huh. now he's gonna have, oh no no it's 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 not miyagi Do. it's got a different name yeah and it's not me teaching it's my friend it's chosen who yeah grew up on all the same shit right and and it's in the same building ironically it's like yeah <laughs> i mean that's that's a bit like you know like a gym goes out of business uh-huh and then they yep. reopen a new gym yes run by some of the same people in the same building it's yeah. the same thing it's the same fucking gym yeah but then they're like no 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 that 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 was 24 fitness this is fitness 24 you know they always pull <laughs> yeah. some bullshit yeah that's oh my god it was kind of like like doing a halloween movie calling it halloween and then not even having michael myers really in it yeah kind something of. like that it was a bit like that yep so yeah this trailer's a lot of fun hey are you a little surprised at how much they're keeping this whole miguel versus robbie thing going yeah i guess i am um i i think that i mean it's gonna it's gonna resolve at some point clearly not in season five it, it's it's surprising to me that this that they feel that with all the different subplots they have and with all the stories they can tell that they feel like they still want to keep this going i feel like most of us are, are kind of done i feel like at this point especially when we see this this fight scene between the two of them taking place outside of the apartment that uh, these two boys in particular fighting each other after after the whole incident at the school and Miguel going over the balcony or the railing or whatever and breaking his back, you'd think they would be tampering it down, I guess. Yeah. In real life, these I think they would. Yeah, I think in real life that, that would it would be coming to an end, especially because there was never that much hate between them in the first place. Mm -hmm. This is one feud I've never fully bought because mm. they're both relatively nice kids that aren't really all that hot tempered, you know, and so mm -hmm. it's hard for me to really see them this much at odds with each other and to see this going on for this long and yeah. i'm just surprised that the writers feel that the audience wants this you know mm -hmm. i i really think by now the audience has other concerns mm -hmm. and they're not I, I don't think most of us really care that much i'll take it i just don't think it's like top tier storytelling at this point mm -hmm. what i do think is top tier storytelling yeah. is that fucking awesome scene we have chosen and johnny teaming oh up. yeah Walking in together, Chosen and yes. now You might remember, I was really wrong. I thought season three was going to show us having Johnny and Chosen fighting in Okinawa. That you never did, happened. Yes. Yeah, I thought that for sure. That never happened. You were pretty committed to it. I, I was. Uh, but this is really cool. They walk in. They walk into a, to a Cobra Kai location, uh -huh. and and the guy says the adult classes are on Wednesdays. They go, oh, we're not here to to teach uh, to take a class. Yeah, we're here to teach to, to take a lesson. We're here to teach you a lesson. Yes, that was great. Yeah, I would imagine Daniel staying home, going, guys, don't do this. <laughs> uh, but they're doing it. They're, Johnny oh, yeah, and they Chosen. Are. Johnny and Chosen teamed up, um, and we don't know who that sensei is that they were about to duke it out with but no. there was part of me that when ju you just see the back of his head and it's a very blonde head and so part of me said holy cow is that dutch yeah like dutch would still have to look like that after all these I years know. like he's still gonna dye his hair and yeah. everything else but still yeah i don't know but that was a very cool scene um the rest of the trailer i think is fine i don't love it a lot of it's the same footage we've already seen still no mike barnes is kind of a bad decision um, and there's that little bit at the end of the trailer where we've got Crease doing his Crease thing. I, I figured for sure he's going to beat up everybody in jail. And yeah, then he, he's going to you know, be talking his way out of there. It's still so. going to be fun, though. Think of the misery. He's an old man who just went to jail for something he really didn't do. Yeah. That's fucking. Something he totally didn't do. Yeah, he's a bad guy and all, but th that's that really, uh, that's fucking sad. Yeah, he that's doesn't deserve this. In your golden years. Anyway, whatever. Uh, good trailer. Fun trailer. Yeah. I still would have enjoyed more more twists and turns, more reveals. Hmm. Well, stay tuned. Stay for tuned. We'll, five. Yeah, we'll we'll get another one. The show is literally less than four weeks away oh, now. September 9th. It's coming up fast. Yeah. And then as soon as it's done, bam, now we start the all the hoopla, all the, the questions over what's gonna happen with season yes, six. Then we start picking it apart and just discussing how yeah. awesome it was. Anyway, guys, sorry we're, we're absent. I don't know how often we're going to be doing the show for the next little while. It's a struggle uh, right now. I'm, I'm really kicked in the fucking balls like you wouldn't believe. But, uh, guys, thank you very much for for being a part of our whole thing. You know, yeah. we, we haven't met you, but you guys are awesome and we appreciate it. So we'll see you soon. Hopefully not too long. Let us know in the comments what you think of this trailer. 
of Miguel's very angry face right here. <laughs> Check out pissed off he is. I know. He, he looks like a humiliated baby. You know? No, he doesn't. No, he does. Uh, anyway, let us know your thoughts and everything, guys. We'll talk to you real soon, okay? Yes. Thanks so much. Thanks so much.